morning everyone thank you for pressing play and thank you to all my new subscribers um, I was on a holiday last week um, but managed to cleverly upload videos and whilst I was away um, the Eastern Palace pre-order arrived um, so I've been playing with it and um, this is a wedding card I made yesterday I made a wedding card for a friend of mine it took me two hours um, this one I made this morning in about 10 minutes um, so I've done gone for uh, tone on tone and I quite like it I've used um, Sahara sand to, to stamp there um, and uh, and stamp on the inside to give it a slightly subtly look um, and I'm quite pleased with it so I'm going to do this but in different colours in one of the new ink colours because it's um, my 29th anniversary um, it was at the weekend um, but uh, I was away without my other half um, and so we're going away this weekend so I'm going to make him um, a 29th anniversary card and I'm going to use the new ink colour um, of Fresh Fig. Now purple is my absolute favourite colour and my absolute favourite stamping up colour was Blackberry Bliss which has retired. Now it is quite similar that one's a little bit more vibrant but it's just like a slightly duller version of that so I'm sure this is going to become well it already is really my new favourite okay so the other new thing that uh, Stamming Up are going to bring out in the new catalogue is extra thick vanilla white um, very vanilla sorry I was mixing my colours there um, so this is uh, extra thick A4 cutting half scored down the middle for the card base and then I've just cut a mat which is a quarter of an inch um, smaller so that gives us a, an eighth of an inch border and what I did you can see on this it's got the falling petals um, hearts um, embossed on it um, which I thought um, was very appropriate for a wedding and indeed an anniversary card so um, I first thing I did was emboss it before I cut it out so I went over to the to the side of the embossing folder so that there wasn't too many hearts there so I'm just going to emboss this and then I'll get back to you so as you can see it's embossed nicely and then what I'm using is from the new Eastern Medallions Thinlet set um, you get lots and lots of different dies which go with the Eastern Beauty uh, stamp set. The stamps are actually bigger than that. As you can see, mine are quite purpley coloured because I have used Fresh Fig a lot. Um, but that's what happens with photopolymer. All my stamps are that sort of colour because I do like the sort of purpley, purpley shades. Um, so I've gone for the big um, medallion, um, and this cuts it out but stays in. Stays in, as you can see underneath there. You can then put a circle die around it and cut it out or just snip it, um, whichever way you want to do it. So I'm going slightly to the top and then when I run it through the um, my die cutting, I'll only go halfway and then stop. You can feel it when it, when it, when it happens and then stop. If you went all the way, you'd flatten these. So I'm just going to cut that out and come back again. So I've run that through and you can see that it cuts through but it stays inside and these bits that are in are actually quite good at releasing by just tapping it and most of them come out without the use of a pokey tool which I quite like that. Right, now, as I was doing it, alternatively, you could always cut this out and then run it through um, the embossing folder. Um, that is an alternative way of doing it. Um, but I didn't think about that till afterwards. Okay, so then 
um, I have used um, the stamp um, to think of you is to smile. Um, I really like that. Um, after 29 years with someone, if you don't smile when you think of them, then what on earth are you still doing with them? Um, so I stamped that and that um, circle there and I cut it out using the stitched circle framelit. So I don't know if you can see, but the stitchy bit goes around where the little splodges are. And I quite like that effect. It was as if that's the actual thread that that stitched it. So I quite like that. Um, on this one I used the, the bigger stitched circle. Um, so you can actually see less of the background. With this one, when you stick it down, you can it fits in perfectly in the middle of there. So you can see more of the, the shape. So I kind of like that. Now, when I was looking at it, I thought, oh, there's a bit of a space there. Um, so I'd quite like to fill that space in. And I thought, I quite like a heart. And I looked at the little stamps here and I didn't, didn't really like any of those. Um, and because the heart shapes on these falling petals are not um, sort of a uniform, I went for the Owl Builder Punch, which has a little heart there. For, for the beak and I cut out heart although I can't find it right now so I'll have to cut another so I'm trying to desperately behind me find the scrap and it's just not coming to hand got it so as you can see I had already cut one out um, so I'm going to cut another one out sticking a bit in there there we go cut me out so now let's stick all this together so I'm going to use some mini glue dots which would you would you would you actually think that I prepared and like put everything near me when I make a video which is what I usually do there found it but then I start moving things as I show things right so I can't pick things up So stick that on, glue dot, it is slightly too big, so I just need to fold it down. And I'm doing it with my finger because I can't find my pokey tool. So I'm going to stick that under the smile. Pokey tool would be really useful right about now. Should have folded it before I put it. There we go. This is why today I prepared things so that things won't go wrong. There we go. So um, I'll just use a bit of Tombow to stick this down. Let's get the full Tombow. You could pop this up, but I'm going to pop up the sentiment. around the circle and a bit in the middle line it up stick it down I love this colour And then I'm going to get some dimensionals, which is the thing I usually lose. Stick some of them on. And then that is ever such a quick card. I can't believe I spent two hours yesterday. Mind you, it was uh, a really detailed card, an easel card with a drawer and a box. Um, Labour of love for my mate. 
and stick that down. And that is my anniversary card. So that's it in the contrasting colour and that's it tone on tone. So two very different looks from the same die and embossing folder. I love it. Um, so I am playing happily with my Eastern Palace suite so there will be more to follow. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. And if you want to buy anything, mm, right, Eastern Palace um, is available for pre-order um, from May the 1st. Um, so uh, not long to wait. Um, as a demonstrator, uh, we're able to pre-order early, which is one of the benefits of being a stamping up demonstrator. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.